Hey what's going on guys and in today's video I will be updating my Sony Xperia XZ to Android 7.1.1 and right now it's running Android 7.0 Android Nougat so the Android 7.1.1 update is out so let's begin the update and in this video itself I will show you uh, uh, what all new features this new update brings and whether or not the user interface changes so right now it is going to install the update and I will be right back All right guys, so I finished updating my phone to the latest Android version and I have been playing around with this update for quite a while and let me tell you guys the performance is top notch everything is working fine so first off let me show you the uh, Android version and the Android security patch level 1st April 2017 Android 7.1.1 which is the latest version of Android so the first thing you'll notice is that the clock widget is a little bit different so they've updated the clock widget it appears like this and you also get a new clock widget which is clock and weather it's pretty nice I don't have to use this additional weather widget now I can just use a clock which also displays the weather pretty cool and like I said the performance is top-notch there is absolutely no problem with the performance everything is working Sony has fine. also updated their stamina mode so if you go into battery stamina mode you'll see this smart stamina notification so all this does is analyzes your battery consumption and tells you um, uh, when the battery is expected to run out the regular stamina mode is still there no problems so let's check out the camera so yeah the same old uh, awesome camera is still there it's still pretty fast works alright manual mode you get manual focus And I feel that the camera interface is a little bit faster. Alright guys, so I'm going to perform a little bit of multitasking. Uh, what I'm going to do here is launch a couple of apps and then we'll shift through uh, different applications and see how the phone performs. So right now you can see no applications are running in the background. So let's start with Play Store. Camera. Instagram everything is working fine album music uh, what else play memories Let's launch PowerPoint and generally you can see the uh, phone is performing pretty well the uh, transitions the animations are pretty smooth dialer chrome web browser you can see all the applications are still running in the background the phone is having absolutely no per no performance issues so let's go ahead and open camera once again there we go no problem let's go ahead and open album I'm gonna try and pin I'm really happy to see that the Sony album now supports uh, split screen camera doesn't support now the weather app also supports split screen you can see there is absolutely no problems at all I can watch my YouTube videos I can browse my photos
So lastly, two other changes that I've noticed is if you go to settings, go to uh, developer options, you get this option called use sRGB. Doesn't do anything visibly, but maybe it's doing something, um, something with the colors. And if you go to display, you scroll down, you get this cover selection option. I think this was there before, but I haven't noticed it. So uh, yeah, classifying it as new. And yeah, you do get these rounded icons now, which I'm really not a fan of. I used to like the old uh, edgy icons, so to say. But yeah, it does look nice. You can change the icon on Xperia. Uh, you already know that these themes um, come with their own icons, so you get that. You can see the phone icon has changed. Weather icon has changed, setting has changed, messages has changed. But anyways guys, thank you for watching this video and if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like these. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.